Hey everybody, this is Ray from Rofo Audio, welcoming you to our first episode of Inside Now Broadcasting, which is our debut album, uh, available at cdbaby.com and any place else you'd like to download it online. Um, this series of episodes will give you sort of a behind-the-scenes look at all of our songs on the album, and uh, thanks for stopping by. So in episode one, we're going to give you an inside look uh, at a tune called From the Bottom Up that we wrote um, and put on the album. Uh, it, was, it was one of the first songs written, um, and uh, it was kind of built on that rolling lick um, that links the choruses and the verses together. Uh, I'd been in drop beat tuning and was kind of sitting with an acoustic guitar watching TV, and that, that lick just sort of started happening um, all on its own, which stuff tends to happen when I'm watching TV. And... Uh, you know, and I, I remember incorporating a lot of kind of open string feeling to it, and uh, it started to develop like a little beginning and ending, and uh, all of its own. And I just wanted to kind of um, had this idea of trying to get it to be a lick that you could hear like sort of on a continuous loop, and, and that's where that that whole thing came to be. <laughs> I had always wanted to do a, uh, a verse section of a song that had that little guitar line and vocal line that would follow each other. You know, I'd always liked that effect in a bunch of other tunes, and I had been sitting with that little melody that's in the verse for quite a while, um, and never really intended it to be part of um, from the bottom up, but it just sort of snuck itself in there um, and, uh, and 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 sort of planted roots. And once that happens, it's <laughs> it's tough to let go. writing the record, uh, I had been working on a short film with a friend of mine. Um, we had developed a script that um, had a character in it that was existing in a, a post-apocalypse world, um, and he was a man of the church, and he'd been dealing with issues of survival and redemption and solitude, and I had started scouting out locations around our area to shoot some footage um, so we could start to finalize the script and try to get the arc of the character in place. Um, finish the storyboards and start to piece together this guy's world and uh, I drove around like I said taking not only video but also some stills and then I actually put together this very short slideshow so we could kind of see how the aesthetics felt alongside the script um, and I had all these pictures on my computer and when bottom started to come together and I conceptually kind of knew where the tune was going I realized that it was kind of cool because that project was sort of started to cross over into this world and um, you know this guy that we had developed um, the reverend sort of um, became the voice of, of, of the tune he was sort of the the, uh, the, the main character from the bottom up So once the once the lyrics start happening and you know we have the basic parts of the songs, um, you know, then it really becomes a, a, a transition thing for me and Drew at, in the writing process. Um, it's sort of taking the narrative of, of what the song's saying, kind of trying to put it with the feel of the tune. Because I was having a problem getting into the choruses. So on my on our last run of this. Whatever number it is to get into the chorus, I'm cutting that short. So 
I'm going like this. So, I usually drop out by We'll do two of them. Yeah. That double time ride out, um, it took quite a while um, for the, the sort of three separate pieces of it to come together. It has, you know, almost like an intro to it and then the, the middle part is uh, the, the lead line that I wrote and then and then has the big ride out with the, the big power chords and, and the lead wah stuff stuck in between but um, so those three sections really it, it took a few months for that stuff to kind of come to fruition but the idea of once we got to that one part we hit this big giant chord and then it kind of just takes off that, that actually really happened right in the rehearsal room it was a huge part of the song. That's when we knew we were on the song. But I'm with you. about me not doubling those yells. Try not, try leaving it out. Yeah, let me see what that sounds like. 
That in theory. Oh, that sounded good. Okay. Uh, there was one of them that was funny, and maybe the second one. Yeah, I, I don't even know if I hit them all exactly right. I was so busy listening. So wh whatever you think is fine, that's cool. If not, I'll, I'll do whatever. I'm gonna try to keep. I'm gonna maybe. Ah, let me listen to it. One. I, I like I like that idea better though. I think. It sounded good. Yeah. Okay. I got two. Good idea. Never rise above that one. Never. Yeah. I gotta clip it. Yep, Here we go. That's kinda cool. Yeah. I think we got that. Let me see it. Like one note. <laughs> <laughs> Every single night. Every time. You turn around. Jacob, right. are we going to the movie? Yeah. Okay. Are you going to go to the comic book store with me first? Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. It's called like, it's about like how he can't leave his house because he just finally started watching it. Uh, lost. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole thing is like, you have to hear the song and it's like, that's cool. You know, like, you know, like, exactly. <laughs> nice, dude. I guess it was watching, but like, you know, we're fine. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, that was, that was cool. Was, yeah, you do get wound up. You're like, oh my god. Oh, I was like, hot song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a couple, oh, man, that tastes really good. I bet a little more tastes even better. Then you just keep going, then you get up the next day and you're like, oh my god, I feel like shit. <laughs> I've got a B3 stomach ache. <laughs> that, <was> really <laughs> that was really fun. <laughs> like doing shots. Yeah. I have a B3 hangover. Yeah, it's like, it's like doing shots. That was a really stupid idea. <laughs> a couple of them, that was really nice. Okay, so then we got Alright, Jacob, be still, okay? There we go. I got you. 